ensure that the correct nozzle size is selected for the application. Using the correct startup procedure, light the torch on the oxyacetylene set. Set a neutral flame for mild steel, a carburizing flame for copper and an oxidizing flame for cast iron. The oxyacetylene flame heats the metal to be welded where the two pieces join or abut. This area is called the weld joint. When the weld joint becomes red hot or cherry red but not molten at 600 to 900 degrees Celsius, a powder flux is applied to the area. With brazing and silver soldering, the base material does not melt. The brazing rod is then applied to the area that it has been fluxed and melts due to the base material heat. The molten brazing rod is forced to flow together by proper manipulation of the welding torch and capillary action. As the flame is moved along, the molten brazing rod solidifies behind it. The two pieces of metal form one homogeneous mass through the use of controlled heat input and filler metal application. Another variation of the process uses a brazing rod that has been flux coated, making the addition of a powder flux to the joint unnecessary. Once the job is completed, use the correct shutdown procedure when shutting down the oxyacetylene set.